曾经有种感觉，想让它成为永远，安然一份放弃，孤少一份超脱。不管世界如何变迁，不管选择哪种方式，你就是我不变的兄弟。Hi, this is Glenn. And I'm Lamu. We are Crimson Lotus Tea, and、uh, today we are、uh, doing a tea tasting in the、uh, in one of Hakai Shan's、uh, old growth tea gardens. This is a place that we spent a decent amount of time in last year.、Uh, love the material from this garden.、Uh, if you tried our Hakai Autumn. Uh, old tree、uh, Maocha from from last fall. This is the this is the garden that it came from.、Um, this this is a really interesting garden, and I'll explain as we're、uh, as we're making a little bit of tea in here.、Uh, we've got our little traveling teapot, and we've got everything all set up. So、uh, this garden was、um, one of the most unusual places that we went last year,、uh, primarily because of a very interesting experience I had when I was here. And、uh, if Lamu is fidgeting, it's because the bees really like her here, and I didn't realize how many bees there were. But、um, I think maybe they, it's、um, my clothes. I think her clothes are too、uh, too floral, and、uh, so please、uh, disregard the、uh, <laughs> disregard sorry, the squirming. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of hilarious.、Um, so yeah, this garden.、Uh, let me explain, like. Oh, here, give this a smell. It smells really good. So last year, last year when we came here,、um, this was one of the gardens that we were、uh, take, taking a tour of.、Uh, we hadn't been to Hakai Shan before.、Uh, wanted to check out the material from here.、Uh, I thoroughly fell in love with with Hakai. Hakai is just、uh, it's, it's just it's, it's gorgeous. And this garden in particular、um, is is outside of a a village called、uh, called Maomai Maomai Laojai. Laojai just means old village, and it's literally an old village. It's very, very, very hilly here,、um, like very, very, very steep. And the villages kind of run along the、uh, the the peak, and then all the tea trees and gardens and stuff come down the side of the hill. And so you end up spending a lot of time hiking down, 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 down. And for this garden in particular, like it felt. It felt like you were going back in time. Like the the more the, the deeper you got into the garden, the further back in history you went. It was a it was a very bizarre experience, and not just like go back in time, like like 50 years or 100 years. It it felt like you were like back in the Jurassic. I mean, you were in the, the prehistoric times. I mean, it, it just it just it just had this emotion of like incredible age to it. Um, the further I got down,、uh, the older it seemed.、Uh, at one point in time, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous, and so I mean, since, since since it's really steep, you can look out and just see this giant bird flew over my head, and and in that moment, you couldn't have convinced me that it wasn't a pterodactyl. Like that, that, that's just like the emotional、uh, feeling I had with this place. And、uh, we were with a guide. Guide's a local woman.、Uh, she's amazing.、Um, she grew up in these gardens.、Um, she's like a female Indiana Jones. She's just she's she's amazing. She like scared of nothing. And she got a little bit ahead of me. I couldn't see where she was, and I heard her screaming. And she came running up the hill past me, yelling. And the only English she knew was "No go, Glenn." <laughs> <laughs> and then she was gone, and then she just left me here, like, and surrounded by all these tea trees, and she was just gone, like <laughs> the, the biggest fright of her life, and 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 I have no idea what happened.、Um, I know they do have like wild pigs around here sometimes, so I thought maybe. I mean, those things are pretty dangerous. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, it was nervous, and Lama wasn't here. Lama was pregnant at the time, so she was at the top yeah, of the、uh, top of the mountain. Yeah. So after a while, I remember. I gave her. Oh my I, God! Call me. And yeah. She saw. She told. She said she saw. She said she saw a snake, and so I was just like, oh, okay, well, whatever. I mean, there's 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 snakes here. That's not a that's not a huge that's not a huge deal. Um. 
I'm like, I'm gonna go find it and take a picture of it. And she's like, no, 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 no. Like these, it was like a big snake. And I'm like, okay, well, if it's a big snake in this area, that generally means it's like, a, it's, a, it's a constrictor, right? It's like a boa constrictor or a python or something like that, which are probably dangerous if you're like a small child or a small animal, but I didn't really have a problem with it. Um, so I started digging around, uh, digging deeper, and uh, realistically, I probably probably shouldn't have. <laughs> um, it wasn't until a while later that we figured out it was a, it was actually a king king cobra, and what had happened to her was. She was walking around, she was picking up herbs, she was going to be making us dinner that night. Um, just, you know, like some herbs and vegetables and things that just grow naturally in the garden that she likes to, she likes to cook with. And as she was picking them up, she stood up and she turned around and like face to face with her at her five foot five height was a snake about, about that far away. Like yep. I am from Lamu and it was just sitting there going like, <sighs> like right and in her she face. She said their bodies uh, all over the... Yeah, so you know the body about as thick around as my forearm. It was about 15 feet long. It was uh, it was it was big, and so I didn't I didn't know all this at the time. I'm just digging around trying to find what I think is like a big python so I can take its picture. And I got to this one spot, like really 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 deep in the garden, a spot like right behind us right here, and I just felt like I couldn't go any further. It was it was a it was a very unusual feeling, and it was like it was like hitting a force field like a wall just like stopping me right there and anytime like I, I, I feel something like that I generally try and like listen to it so but I took a bunch of pictures and uh, and then I left and went and found her and I was disappointed because I said you know I said I didn't 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 find the big snake so then we started I started trying to like find out what a, what a picture of it was and so finally pulled up a handful of photographs and showed her and she picked the king cobra like straight out and that's when I was just oh, like wow. Oh, that was probably kind of dumb. Like, I still get goosebumps thinking about it. Yeah, I'm pretty scared to come here today. It's our first time coming <laughs> back here since then. Um, I went and looked at the pictures later, and um, yeah, it's actually sitting right there in the photograph, like Look, 10 feet in front of me, just right. staring straight at me. It's, this is my, like, Eve in the garden moment. Like, the snake is actually sitting right there. Uh, I'll post the, the photograph in the video, see if you guys can find it. He's sitting there in the tea trees just staring right at me. And I've, I sent the, the photograph to some um, snake friends and some herpetologists and stuff. And um, yeah, they, they, they verified that yeah, that was, uh, it was probably, uh, probably a king cobra. And there are, there, it's not unprecedented for king cobras to be out here, but it is incredibly, incredibly rare. Um, they, also, they also have like a, a large migratory pattern and they can travel hundreds yeah. of miles inside of a year. So I'm not particularly worried that it's here and again. They also just eat other snakes. They primarily they primarily eat other snakes and so that's probably a good thing for this garden because there are some um, um, snakes that are fairly aggressive to humans. Uh, king cobras aren't so I, th I, I took it as an amazing omen for like the quality of this garden if this garden has its own like you know like snake protector. Yeah we, we talked to other guys say we, we definitely want tea from this garden and then she's, she's like, like I'll never come here no. again <laughs> and so we've had to work it out and it's 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 taken it's taken a little effort but um, we actually were able to purchase um, the basically the entire output for this garden for spring picking we pre-ordered it and uh, it's it's awesome. I am super, super, super excited to be able to offer the tea from here. We're gonna be pressing it into cakes. We're gonna call it Danger Zone. I'm very excited about it. Uh, my friend Jake Knapp from Seattle, uh, north of Seattle is actually doing the artwork for it. Um, it's custom. It's, um, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. It's very exciting. Because this year's weather, so yeah. there are lots of uh, huangpian in this garden. Yeah. Uh, but we want to provide their complete experience to our customers. Yeah. But uh, you will notice there's a lot of huangpian yeah. in other materials. The leaves definitely look a little bit different this year. Um, so with there being a large drought, uh, the trees have had to become very selective about how they spend, the, spend their energy. And they have produced new growth. Uh, much less uh, new growth than like the first spring picking of last year, but they have um, uh, the leaves are much much smaller. So that means that there's there's less there's less overall weight volume. Uh, it makes the tea like a little bit a little bit more expensive because you're still paying the same amount of price for for the fresh leaves. Experience leaf. is more intense. Yeah, the intensity of the experience is awesome. And this is actually what we're drinking right now. I literally like picked from these trees. I mean. 
king cobra was probably sitting in one of those couple trees just sitting right behind me. Don't um, scare me. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll take some video of the garden as well because it's just incredible. Like These trees are incredible. This whole area is, is really amazing. I mean, you really feel um, deep connection to the, the past when you're here, which is um, one of the reasons that we like this material so much. Yeah, it's dipping the forest. And yet, we still have um, cellular reception out here. So the wireless infrastructure in China, excuse me, has um, has done really, really well. So it's kind of nice. I could uh, actually even do like a live Instagram video chat here if I wanted to. I've got even like 4G all the way out here, which is um, That's amazing. Is kind yeah. of it's it, it is kind of amazing. It just shows how there's modern meet uh, Asian. Yeah, modern modern meets ancient or something like that. Um, so. Yeah, I wanted to uh, give you guys a chance to, to have tea with us here. Hopefully you'll be able to pick up uh, some of this cake and enjoy it as much as much as we do. We really uh, want the opportunity for people to be able to actually see where these teas come from because like a garden like this is just it's just incredible and you know pictures don't even really do it justice. You see one or two trees yeah, and we, things. We but have to drive a long way then we have to park over a car on top of it's the a, mountain. It's a decent hike to get down here. Yeah. yeah. So that's a beautiful garden because uh, down there last year was a river. But yeah, there was a nice there was a nice river going this through there. It's a little dry, so it's yeah. much much drier. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll take some videos we uh, as we walk around, show you guys show you guys the garden. It's going to be quite the the hike going back up, but it was worth it to come down here and uh, check out the uh, the snake garden spot and be able to uh, have some tea here and tell you guys the the story about. Uh, me almost running into a king cobra. <laughs> tea, the tea business is dangerous, you guys. It's really, it's really, it's, it's, it's this dangerous. This year we have it's to hire the most brave people yeah. to we, pick we did. We specifically, specifically had to hire people and give them the heads up, like, yeah, by the way, at the bottom of the garden, like, you may die. It's just, it's just, just a king, it's just a king cobra. But I'm it's not, probably not there anymore. Yeah, just I'm, go ahead and. I'm uh, probably not gonna bring baby boss here. No, we left we left the kids up at the uh, uh, left the kids up at the top. Yeah. Um, Play with the pigs and the chicken. They're playing with the pigs and the chicken. They're, Hawkeye has the most amazing like pigs. It's uh, so cute. They're so cute. They're so tiny and tiny and adorable. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have this uh, tea on the site uh, soon. We've got to get it uh, pressed and, and and processed. I'll make sure you guys uh, uh, know about that and appreciate you watching the videos. These are a lot of fun for us to uh, to put together and we. We appreciate appreciate you watching them. So um, thanks again and uh, happy steeping. Happy steeping.
世界，我的故事自然的告白，幸运的希望，来生我。愿。